This video is sponsored by Shopify. Boss, you're gonna love this. Got some great news. You're late. No, I was just about. Shh. I don't wanna hear it. So, if you haven't heard already, which I'm pretty sure you haven't, Shopify finally released Shopify Winter Edition 2024. I know. And one of the highlights of this event is the theme blocks. 2,000 variants and AI backgrounds and definitely much more. Now, your goal today is to teach our clients, our customers, about these theme blocks. Understood? I mean, yeah, sure, but like, I don't know much about Shopify Edition Winter 2024. Uh, uh, it's Shopify Winter Edition 2024. You always get that wrong. Anyway, if you don't know what is Shopify theme blocks or Shopify theme sections, come here and let me explain it to you. Okay, so... They're basically these reusable modules of content that can be customized in the theme editor. You know, those featured collections, featured products, etc. Those are sections. And in this section, Shopify developers can implement blocks. And these blocks can represent different content types like text, images, videos, collections, products, etc. That being said, before Shopify Edition 2024, you cannot add custom blocks to a section. You can only do that if you manually customize the code of a section. But now, thanks to theme level blocks, you can now add custom blocks to a section. Well, let me show you an example, come here. Previously, to add a block to a section, you would need to write this blocks inside of your schema. Now the problem with this is that these blocks are only available for this section, for the rich text.liquid section. Meaning you cannot use these blocks outside of the section. You cannot use this in related products.liquid, in slideshow.liquid, in page.liquid, and so on. Just here in the rich text.liquid. Now, with the new theme blocks, if we go to the next page right here, this is using the new theme blocks. And notice that here, we finally have this directory or this folder, blocks. Now, blocks are kind of similar to sections. You can create sections and you can create blocks. And once you have your blocks here, you would then be able to use all these blocks in your sections. But it's important to keep in mind that in your sections, you would need to use the following code. If we go and open this custom section, you would need to use this type at theme. And also you would need to use the content for tag and specify that you need to use blocks. So once again, theme blocks are a great way to allow theme developers to create blocks that can be used within different sections. As opposed to the local blocks that I showed you earlier, they are bound to a particular section. Okay, so now that you know how it works, allow me to show you how to create a block for your Shopify online store. Now, once again, it's important to keep in mind that at the time I'm filming this video, theme blocks are still in beta, meaning they're still in developer preview. This is not going to work yet in your online Online store in your regular online store right now we still need to create a development store with developer preview to use the theme blocks so if you're watching this video in the future you may not need to do this anymore otherwise you will need to create the development store with theme blocks preview and that's what I'm going to show you now okay so we're back here now in the Shopify partners page now the first thing you want to do is to create a new development store so open the stores page right over here and then create a new development store by clicking the add store and select create development store. Now for the purpose, you would need to select store to test and build. And then type in the store name. We'll just call it weekly how theme blocks. Obviously yours is going to be different. So try to be creative. Next up is the most important part for the build version. Select the developer preview and select theme blocks. And now for the data and configurations, you can either start with an empty store or start with a test data. Let's select the start with test data. And now we can click the create development store. And there you go, we have finally created our Shopify online store. Okay, so to make it easier, we'll be using this reference theme from Shopify. You can check this out, it should be in the description below, or you may also visit github.com forward slash Shopify forward slash reference hyphen theme. And in this page, we can go to the releases page and we can download the zip file right here. So in the assets, select the source code zip. Now, once that's downloaded, we can go back to our online store 
and here in the sales channels, open the online store and we can scroll down and add a theme and then select upload the zip file. Click add file, and then open the downloads and select the reference theme. Click open and upload the file. And it should start installing the Shopify theme. And once that's done, we can finally start building our theme blocks. So here, click this button and select edit code. And you may also open your theme editor by clicking this button right here. And then right click the customized theme and then open this in a new tab. Okay, so just to be clear, you don't have to use the reference theme that we downloaded and uploaded. You can always use other themes like the test data theme, the debut, and the dawn theme. The most important part is the theme blocks preview. As long as the online store or the development store is using the theme blocks preview, you can use the theme blocks. Okay, but if you're watching this in the future, like I said, probably theme blocks are already deployed or ready to be used for everyone. Okay, but for now, we're still going to need to make sure that our development store is using the theme blocks. Okay, so let's just go back to the reference theme and edit code and let's start building our first section. So the plan is to create a simple alert box that will accept blocks that we created here in the blocks directory or folder okay so let's create a new section inside of the sections folder click the add a new section and make sure that you're selecting liquid and for its file name we'll call it alert hyphen box dot liquid so click done and for the schema we'll change the name to alert box so here change it to alert box and then underneath of the settings or in fact we don't need the settings here let's just replace that with presets and for its value create an object and set its name to alert box that way we'll be able to use that section here in the template okay because right now we still don't have any alert box here so once we save this we'll be able to use this alert box in the theme code editor so let's try that let's refresh this page and then now if we add a new section Notice that we finally have here the alert box. So the next thing we're going to do is to create the blocks, to accept blocks in this section. How can we do that? We can do that by using the blocks and then the add theme, like what I mentioned earlier. So let's do blocks and then set its value to an array. And we're going to create an object with a type. And then we'll reference the add theme, meaning the section wants to accept blocks that is theme leveled there's another type that we can use and that is the app so it's an app block okay so add a comma after this object and create a new object and set its type to at app so now it means that this section this alert box that liquid finally accepts not just theme blocks but also app blocks because if we go back to the theme editor here in the customizer page Let's try to add a block in this group. So if we try to hover this plus button, it says add block. If we click that, there's two types of blocks, the theme blocks and then the app blocks. So that's why we have two types here for the blocks, theme blocks and then app blocks. Okay, so now if we save this, we can finally accept, uh oh, there's an error. We forgot to add comma here. So let's just save that and the errors are gone. Awesome. Also notice that there's this error squiggly lines here. Just ignore it and that's because for some reason, the type at theme is not yet available in the code editor. So just ignore that there's this line, okay? And there you have it. Now we can just go back to the theme editor and let's try to add the alert box. If we add that section, we finally can add blocks here. So if you click add blocks, we can add the buttons, the rows, the collection card, the column, and so on. And here we also have the apps, okay? So if you get rid of the app, you should only be able to use the blocks. But now we can add blocks and app blocks. Awesome. So if we add a block, for example, let's try to add heading. 
if we try that it's not yet displaying anything which is weird so how can we make it work how can we make it display the heading we can do that by using the tag because we haven't used yet any tag to display those information so above the schema tag let's create a div let's give it a class of alert and then let's make sure that we close the div like so and then let's add the content for tag once again you spell it content underscore for and then we'll pass a string value and we'll set it to blocks so this tag is a new tag it's basically telling the section that hey i want to display the content for blocks whatever is inside of this blocks here i want it to be displayed using this content for tag okay so now if we save this and if we go back to the theme editor and let's try and save this we finally have here the heading there you have it now our alert box is finally working now it's displaying whatever we added in here we can add another block for example a text like so and now we can add as many blocks as we want okay so let's just customize this and make it beautiful by adding a style tag so we here create a style and let's not forget to close the style tag using the end style and then inside of this tag let's style up the alert class let's give it a display flex and then a flex direction i know this is gonna take some time but let's just make it representable as much as possible and for its align items we'll set it to flex start and then for its padding so that there's space around it we'll give it 10 pixels okay and let's also give it a gap because there could be many things inside of this um alert box so let's give them gap of 18 pixels okay next one let's give this a background color and let's give it a hex value of 25 2b and then 42 so it's basically just a darkish blue color and then we can just set its text color to white finally let's give it a border so border left and let's set it to one rem for its thickness and then let's give it a solid and a color of e7 40 40 so it's a dark reddish okay so let's save that and now if we go back to the theme editor Let's just reload that and there you go finally we have this alert box with a border left red now we can just go back here and add the same text once again and you should have that text you can also add a button if you want so for example let's use the button primary so we have that primary button here so let's save that and there you have it we finally have our alert box that accepts theme blocks that's how easy it is to create a section that can accept theme blocks and app blocks. Great, so now that we know how to create a custom section that can accept theme blocks and app blocks, let's learn how to create our own custom block. So here in the blocks folder, create a new block by pressing this add a new block and it will ask you for a name. So let's just call it, let's create a custom HTML block, okay? So we can create whatever inside of this um, HTML text area. So custom hyphen HTML, we'll call it that way. So click done. And now we can just change its name to custom HTML. And let's just create the preset. That way we can find this block here in the add block okay so we still don't have here any custom html block that's for sure so now let's just create that so here create the presets and then create an object we'll give it a name custom html okay so now let's just create the setting where we can type the html codes so here in this object let's create the type and we'll set it to text area i know there are two types of input fields that we can use text area and rich text but i'd prefer to use text area for custom html just my own preferences okay so here underneath of the type let's set its id to html that way we can now add block that settings and the id html so let's create a div here and then 
we'll use the block. If you know sections, here in the section, we use section, that settings, blah, 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 blah. But now since we are in blocks, this time we can finally use the block object, okay? So block that settings, and now we can use the ID HTML. So HTML. Now, whenever we add something to the setting, this object right here will render those, okay? So after the ID, we'll set its label to HTML code. That's it. And then for its default value, we can just create a div or something. You don't have to do this honestly, but just for the sake of creating the default, we'll just leave it like that, okay? So let's save that. And that's pretty much it. We finally created our own custom block. So if we go back to the theme editor, and if we try to reload this page, we should have a custom HTML block. And let's do that underneath of the heading, add a new block and find the custom HTML here. Click that. And here on the right side, we finally have this HTML code. And notice that it's not displaying anything. And that's because this div is empty. So let's try to add hello. And notice that it's now rendering hello here without rendering this div tags. That's because now there's just an HTML code editor. So you can do whatever you want in here. You can even create, I don't know, like a heading title one tag and type here, wow, this is big, something like that. And you can use this not just here in the alert box, you can also use this in other section. So for example, here in the group section, you can add a new block and you'll find your custom HTML here. You can do the same thing here in the custom section. Add a new block, you'll find the custom HTML. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now shout out to Shopify for sponsoring this video. It's been such an honor to work with them and this opportunity allowed me to be creative than usual. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type or this new type of content with like acting here and there. But if you have any feedbacks, let me know in the comments below. Also shout out to all the YouTube members who joined our community. If you want to be part of us, click the join button below and get access to exclusive badges, emojis, and Discord roles. So speaking of that, check the description below to join our Discord server. There should be a link down there. And also next week, we will have our weekly live stream. So don't hesitate to join us. It's been fun to see new faces here and there. And yeah, don't hesitate to introduce yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.